Hi guys, welcome to the shop. Thought I'd share uh, my new tailgate latch that I've got going here. It's working pretty good, I think. Uh, we'll find out next week at the show. But uh, I had a torsion system set up with bent wire and a spring, and wasn't happy with that. It would uh, probably it would try to la relatch too soon, and then the tailgate would be outside the latch. But anyway, um, this is uh, stuff that I designed in Fusion 360 and printed on my printer and uh, I think I got something that's fairly good. I, I wish this uh, the rear latch was just a little bit smaller which it could be made that way but uh, this is what I got for now and uh, so there's the the latch mechanism itself it's uh, in a little bracket that's also printed that's held in with a 256 uh, button head screw there's a little set screw inside there that you can't see, and I'll uh, operate this. I think you'll be able to see more of it. Set screw going through the hollow or the slotted part of that, uh, the bra or the uh, latch. And then you can see there the wire's been around, bent around, and then that's where it's uh, held on to that latch with the, the set screw inside there. And then uh, here's the front, which is very similar. This is what I call the front trigger arm. And it's also in a bracket. The bracket is designed so that when the, the bed or the box closes that the bracket's just about the, the length that it can go where it stops. Well that's terrible definition. And then, uh, then the trigger lays fairly perpendicular and I wanted it to be that way. I kind of figured that out halfway through designing it. That that way it's uh, when it opens it it doesn't go past center otherwise it would it'd get kind of screwed up. But uh, so that's it. I thought I was going to put a spring on here to to pull it open, and then the weight of the box would hold it closed. But I come to find out, I don't think I need that, and we'll find out again next week when I start trying to to use it. But um, so here's the box going up, and you'll see that nothing's going to happen until the weight of the tailgate, the gravity will just uh, flop it open. And it just kind of pushes the, the latch out of the way. And let me stop it there. And then uh, you can see here that the, the weight of the tailgate pushed past the latch. And so and I've got a rubber band, kind of a rubber band spring up in there to help hold the tailgate from, to make it actually close when it comes down. So then, uh, then the, the gravity will uh, push past the, the latch and it's moving the kind of hard for me to see here with the light shining on the camera but then the the whole thing's free to move there and there you can see in the front where the set screw is at and the wires just been around and I I kind of eyeballed the length of the wire bent the loops in the end and then I glued this piece on last so that the position was right and I just had it closed and then uh, I glued this one on first right there at the end of the box and then I glued this one on second after I had the, the wire all attached and just pulled it forward and glued it up there so that it was holding the tailgate shut and then I don't know if you'll be able to see yeah, you can see down there that's the second that's the set screw there that's just going through that you could do, pin that with a piece of brass tubing or anything like that so as it as long as this doesn't get pulled closed somehow inadvertently which I don't know why it would then it'll be kind of hanging like that and as long as this doesn't go too far here's where the problem could be if it goes over center then it's gonna shut it that way and then it doesn't well, it's gonna hit here and here I'm sorry here and here on this uh, trigger and then that's about where it would stay so it would never relatch but it's just gonna go past the point where it uh, where it opens and then uh, so now as we go down nothing really happens with the latch until the trigger hits the chassis and so there you can see the tailgates already inside the the latch and it's going to start hitting the, the trigger and then it's going to hit my uh, limit switch which stops the motor and it has a latch so now i'll hold the camera back here do it again so you can see back here so there the, the gravity is kind of pulling the, the trigger down so it's already open far enough. I'll go up here so the tailgate goes past the latch 
and let's go back the other way now you can watch this end if I can get all of it in the in the shot here or not and it doesn't need much uh, force it's going to have plenty there to uh, to keep it from a big load isn't going to push that open so uh, that's it sorry about the shaky video I don't have a camera crew um, again if anybody wants more information on this uh, send me a note there in the comments or I'll uh, post this on the website on the RC truck and construction forum and uh, if you want the design files uh, uh, from Fusion 360 or the STLs to print these particular uh, parts whatever you need uh, let me know be happy to help see you next time